Welcome to the ADI Frames tutorial on detail sets. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own detail set for use within ADI Frames. First I'm going to show you when you open ADI Frames you have a material system. And when you scroll that down you see all the material systems you have installed. What we need to do is create a file so that it appears in this list. And in that file is where we're going to insert our details. So what I'm going to do is show you where these files are located. If you do a file open and navigate to your C drive, you'll see a program files directory. Double click on that. Then you're going to see automated drafting. Go ahead and double click on that. And then you're going to see material system. Double click on that. In this folder are all, all those detail sets that you've seen in the ADI Frames program. So just as a sample, let's go ahead and open up the standard 2x4.5 storefront system. Just double click on it. And in there are formatted details that are inserted when you create a frame. So what we need to do is create a file that kind of mimics what's going on here. Now since we all have our own title blocks that we like to use for uh, that are had formatted dimensions and so forth. Let's go ahead and open up your standard title block file that you use for everyday drawing. This particular title block simply has my dimension styles in it, and it's how I would want a detail to come in with my dimension styles. So what I did is I went out and I downloaded <coughs> details from Conier. Uh, for a 2250 system. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that detail set. And most manufacturers, <clears throat> this is how their details are done and formatted. And most draftsmen do not draw like this. Uh, we want our details to look better. We want proper labeling, proper dimensioning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a head, a horizontal, a sill, a jam, and a vertical out of this drawing file and bring it to that title block that I just created. So I'll just copy those details. Uh, that one, that one, that one, and these two. I can just simply close this file. I don't need it anymore. And what I'm going to do is paste it into my title block drawing. So now I've got my basis of my details. What I need to do now is save this as a very particular name. So I want to do a file, save as, and then once again I want to navigate to my C drive, into my program files, into my automated drafting folder, and then into my material system folder. In here these files have specific names um, so that I can recognize them as a draftsman. So what I want to do is give this file uh, a name that I recognize. It's a Conair 2250 uh, curtain wall system. Before I say curtain wall system or storefront system, I like to put the dimensions in. And this is very important that you, you follow this format. So this particular curtain wall system is two and a quarter inches by six and a half inches. Notice that in this bracket, I put 2.25 by 6.5 because you can't do a one slash two for a half. You have to do points. Uh, Windows just doesn't re recognize that. So after that, I want to put curtain wall system. And this way, this name is going to appear when I do my details. Now, do note. Anything before the bracket, you can say anything you want here. And anything after the bracket, you can say anything you want there as well. But in this bracket, this size needs to be this way of what the system is. That's how our program recognizes the size to automatically create the tubes from. So I've got a nice pretty name here. And what I want you to do at this point is highlight this and I want you to hit control C and this way it's in your uh, memory so that we can paste this into somewhere else 
So I'm going to click Save. So now I have that file. So if I open up ADI Frames now and scroll this down, here's that file. If for some reason yours is not showing up, you might want to double check the name you gave it. Uh, it should come up automatically. Now in my drawing are my details. Just for sake of time today, I'm not going to format these details or add dimensions or anything else. You have the ability to clean these up as much as you want, add your own types of caulk joints and uh, labels, etc., etc. But for now, what I'm going to show you is how to make the block that gets inserted into your drawing. So if you type block, you're presented with a block definition dialog box. Now what I need to do is give this block a name. Well, you control C that name when we save that file, right? What I want you to do now is do control V, hit your space bar once, hit your minus sign once, hit your space bar again, and then type head. So now I need to specify a base point. So I want to pick a point of my detail, which is the basis of my center. So I'm going to click pick point, and I'm going to click the center of the face of the system. And this holds true for every detail about this program. So there's my midpoint, or my center, of the face of this system. I click that. My point is picked. Now I'm going to select objects. I need to add so many parts to this uh, block. So I'm just going to click select objects. And this now gives me the opportunity to select everything I want contained in that part. Hit enter to say OK. And then click OK. This is now a block. You can go into this block. You can edit it however you want, add dimensions to it, whatever you would like to do. Um, maybe you want to clean up something, uh, make proper part labels, and after you're finished, just close and save it. So I need to make my horizontal a block, my sill a block, my jam, and my verticals a block. So I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to type block again, and I'm going to make this one the horizontal. Now it's very important that you follow the same rhythm with the names. Before we went head, this one's going to be horizontal. So we'll go pick the midpoint. We'll select our objects and hit OK. Now I have a block called the horizontal. I'm going to need to do the same for the sill. Paste that in there. Name that sill. Select a base point select my objects and hit OK. So now here I have a block. Now one tricky thing here is we specify left jam and right jam so you're gonna have to duplicate your work on the jams. So what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm just gonna mirror it. So I have a left jam, I have a right jam. So now I need to make another block and I'm going to call this one left jam. I'm going to pick my base point, which is the center of the cap, front of the system. Then I need to select my objects. I don't want that in there. And hit OK and OK. So now I have a left jam. I'm going to repeat, repeat the process and call this right jam. select my objects, I did that in reverse, select my base point, hit OK, now I have a right jam. Now I need to do it one more time to make my vertical. Okay, now I have six blocks set up. And these blocks 
it doesn't matter where they reside in a drawing or this drawing. This particular block could be all the way up here, just out of space somewhere. Maybe this one's all the way down here out of space. It doesn't matter. ADI Frames knows to go in there and grab a block by a specific name, and how it inserts it is through its base point. And our base point is always on center of the frame and the face of the frame. So now that our blocks are made, let's go ahead and save this drawing. And then let me open up a brand new title block and give this a test. So I'm going to go into ADI Frames, scroll down to that curtain wall system that we just created. And all the values in here, I'm just going to leave alone for right now. I just need to prove that my details come in. So I'm going to hit OK. And I get that error. <laughs> that is because my file is still open. So I have to close that file. So let me uh, recreate this frame. And here you go. Here's your left jam. And if you notice, here's your center point of your jam. Here's your center point of your jam, perfectly aligned. Here's your vertical, your vertical, now your right jam. Here you have your head, your horizontal, and your sill. So now that you've proven to yourself that everything is getting inserted, you can go back into that file that we first created and start to pretty things up. Um, I know for me, I like to put things on specific layers, uh, glass on a specific layer, labels on a specific layer. But from this point, we can do anything with it. Um, let's open up this file. And just to be fancy, let's look at that left jam here. And maybe I just want to delete all of this stuff that's in there. And maybe I want to add a tag saying, I made this. And if I could spell correctly, I made this. And hit OK. So I'm going to close it and save it and save the file, close that, and I'm going to open up a brand new title block again, and insert a frame into that title block. And here you go, on the left jam, I made this. So all the updates that you do are going to come in here and update what you do here. Uh, that concludes our tutorial. Uh, I hope this explained it clearly. If you run into any issues, please give us a call. Thank you.